so niko na swali moja tu nataka muulize uh, kama kuna mtu anazojitolea adungwe microchip hapa hivi kwa mkono alafu apewe 2000 dollars a month inaitwa universal basic income unaona hiyo ni kila mwisho wa mwezi 2000 dollars inaingia alafu wewe una trade in your freedom uh, wata control mali unaenda wana control expenditure yako kama uko na 1 million US dollars unda kuspend leo wanakuambia hapana leo uta spend uh, 100,000 dollars peke yake unaona so like una trade in freedom yako eh, kwa pesa hiyo pesa yenye mshoro mwezi unapewa so huku US watu wanapewa 2000 dollars kwenda kuskaniwa eyeball yao upeane information yako freedom kila kitu Kenya naye naona mnapewa 7000 Kenyan shillings peke yake man watu wamejitokeza eh hey, hey, hey. hata siku za kura amjajitokeza hivyo juu ya 7000 Kenyan shillings eh hey, hey, hey. eh hey, eh Kenya kuna shida Kenya kuna shida alafu wasio wamepangishwa line kama makondo man wanaenda kupeana information yao maana mjichunge sana nyinyi mjui nini inaendelea manze ndio ni msome revelation mtajua what's going on msikue tu mna hype kitu tu yenye amjui mnapangishwa tu malaina hapo mnafurahia kuskaniwa alafu mnapewa hizo mahanda utumjichunge sana on monday july 24th 2023 this past monday a new crypto called worldcoin launched but this one is just a little different than the cryptocurrencies many have been become accustomed to why you ask because this crypto can only be traded by people who've undergone a unique authentication process of scanning your retina I have questions, you should too. It gets even weirder and fast. They're offering 25 world coins to people for free simply for proving they're human. They say it right on their website that this is a unique form of digital ID and as the name implies, it's meant to be used around the world. Before its launch, it already had 2 million authenticated users from its testing phase and I'm sure many more since its official launch on Monday. Supposedly, people have been lining up around the block to visit an orb center where you get your eyeball scanned. But get this, it's created by the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, one of the people who decided it was a good idea to open source AI technology. But just this past May, Altman testified before the United States Congress that AI had issues with oversight and regulation. On one particularly dark day, he was even quoted claiming that AI could lead to the extinction of the human race. What a change of heart that must have been. This guy went from being a key player in unleashing AI on humanity and has now declared that it's dangerous and now we need a way to distinguish humans from AI. Pretty convenient, don't you think? At this moment, there are around 20 orb centers and they're hoping to expand to 1,500 by the end of this year. By using a monetary bribe of 25 world coins, this is going to disproportionately impact people who are under financial stress. 25 world coins translates to around $70 Canadian and less in US dollars. Would you sell your biometric data for $70? I have a couple issues with crypto personally. The first is that if need be, the government can federally mandate it must be stored within a regulated bank. The second is that if a digital ID is to roll out that you need to access services, there's a real possibility that you won't be able to access the internet and therefore your crypto wallet. So think about this before you rush to do the, er, this irreversible process of getting orbed. You will fare much better by investing in hard assets, which could include gold and silver and things like tools, stored food, and anything else that's easy to trade for what you need. Much love, stay safe out there, and don't take the bait. Juzi nilikuwa kwa mall flani hapo kapata watu wamepangishwa line je history ya world coin na wengi ni mayuto huko nje hata kama ni juu ya kusota hivi na wasewa na hawana do na jobs tafadhali wacha watu kwa Kenya unafanya I said that if life was so powerful that it could exist in a temperature of 450 degrees then the herbs that heal would have to be alkali on 7 plus instead of acid 6.9 then i begin to check the ph of all the herbs i begin to test it i test comfort acid i test garlic acid i also tested aloe vera since all of these things are very acid carrot juice is extremely acid yet the healers in new york 
then and now are still recommending these acid foods. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, let me investigate further to see which are the alkali herbs. Mm -hmm. We, 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 we. Basi hapo hivi wakutayarisha kastiu hivi na tuvitu mingi hapo kamchozi, kakaro, tukasaumu. Nasikia madhara huku hivi. Bato mchungi wa kumunakula wazi ito chemsha. Russia's strategic nuclear bombers known as the white swans actually landed in uh, South Africa. The 13 hour flight is being called a symbolic visit or is it? Just another way for Russia to send a message about its capabilities. RT senior correspondent Mirad Gaziev was there. And we have touched down. The Russian swans have come to South Africa. Blackjack, NATO reporting name officially the two 160 Russia's strategic nuclear bombers. This is the furthest <laughs> south that they have ever been. We're closer to Antarctica than we are to Russia at this point. Now, ordinarily, a nuclear bomber doesn't make the most welcome guest, but this is a symbol, a symbol of trust between Russia and South Africa. Now you can love them or you can hate them, but this is a majestic like, hmm. aircraft. Time for the Africa. heaviest supersonic well, like that's a aircraft. This thing me. weighs in hmm. at almost okay. 300 tons, capable of staying sure. in the air for an entire day. We all have different definitions of what it is to be a friend. But if you're comfortable inviting a supersonic nuclear bomber for a visit, all oh, pretty good friends. We're going to go meet the pilots. Uh, they're pretty tired. This has been a, a long journey, but the press and uh, these aircraft have caused, uh, caused quite a stir here. Dozens and dozens of journalists come to see the site. The press are very eager to talk to them. There's been a sense of novelty, like entering uncharted waters, but I think we'll get to explore this part of the world too. We've seen a whole lot of various scenery, our earth is enormous, but for the most part we've been flying over the ocean. We have a tradition, just like the sailors, we congratulate each other when we're crossing the equator. First I want to say it's um, a pleasure for us as South African Air Force to receive the Russian Federation Air Force visitors. Of course, the uh, conditions of the Air Force Base waterproof in terms of the length of the railway. We made our planning and we are sure that the two bombers will be able to land and be uh, nicely accommodated here. The Russian side has been very, very careful to keep any and all politics out of this visit and its statements. But come on, we can read between the lines. Vladimir Putin is hosting dozens and dozens of African leaders. The world is changing, and Russia's message is clear. It's back in Africa. Old empires die, and new powers are born. And for Russia, for the first Africa. century, Africa is the place to be. Surely Africa is the place to be. The Garden of Eden. In many ways, in all ways. Oh. Is this real? 
Ai, na shuku sana hii. This guy is turning into uh, I uh, see. Okay. Oh, look in the Russian laboratory. Oh, it seems like <laughs> Hello viewers. Thank you for joining us today. I hope everyone is doing fine. I know you must be wondering why is a grown man crying on a live television? Well, let's get on to it. We all know that recently Niger military took over the government. In doing so, they asked the finance minister to give an account within 48 hours since he was appointed as the finance minister of Niger and this was his reaction he was seen crying bitterly on a live television give an account since you were appointed as a finance minister of his live execution oh my god oh my god it's funny and it's sad at the same time it's funny as to why would you cry like a baby when you know you've served your country diligently if you know you've been true to your country why are you crying that is the funny part and it is sad as to why civilians work so hard and these african politicians keeps everything to themselves they are so greedy we'll be back just subscribe and we'll let you know what happens next Thank you all for watching. Kikula pesa ya uma, itakuuma. Kipoe pesa ya uma. Maheshimio, kipoe pesa ya uma. Fanyi ya uma. Kazi. Nona. Kusi pesa ya barabara, jenge watu barabara. Tende kufanya yon na yon kitu na yon pesa ya barabara ujenge kwako. 